Thank you for joining us, Dr. Wilson. You had a piece of news this morning that uh, may well position Tapimmune in a whole different light as one of the leading players in the battle against HER2 new breast cancer. And that's an exciting development for you? Yes, very exciting. Um, it's a new antigen technology <clears throat> that we've licensed from the Mayo Clinic. And it's an antigen that nobody had recognized before um, for the HER2 new uh, receptor. Um, the existing uh, products in the market uh, uh, don't go the same pathway as this antigen, and so they're not uh, as effective. And so we think that combined with our other, other approaches for HER2 new, we will have a real advantage and give us a leading position in the development of a vaccine for HER2 new, both for therapeutic and hopefully in the future prophylactic. Obviously, one of the things that may have helped you land this deal for this technology is your relationship with the Mayo. Am I off base there or? No, that's absolutely correct. We've, we've established a great working relationship with collaborators at the Mayo Clinic. <clears throat> we've got an option to license uh, the first her to new technology, which is one going into the clinic uh, this, later this month. And so it was, a, it was a natural progression for them and us uh, to, to bring this new technology into Tapimia. And one of the things people may not understand is what makes this HER2 new technology, mm. um, as it stands, even before this new addition, um, interesting. Can you kind of get into that and explain why this is an important mechanism? Yeah, any, anything that is recognized by cytotoxic T cells on the outside of the cell has to go through a pathway involving our, our technology platform, TAP. Um, and before it gets into TAP, it, the, the proteins that are inside the cell get broken down into small fragments called peptides. And it's peptides that are transported to the surface of the cell uh, as part of the MHC class 1 pathway. The T cells see it and recognize it as either uh, self <clears throat> or foreign. In the case of this new HER2 new antigen, it's a natural uh, substrate for the, 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 the proteases that degrade the proteins into peptides. It goes through this pathway naturally. The ones that are, on, that are, ones that are out there in the clinic apparently do not go through this pathway. So they're not naturally presented to killer T cells. That's why we think we have a significant advantage. So what you're saying in layman's terms is you've got a mechanism in which uh, this particular platform gives you an advantage over the existing platforms that other people are looking at in the, in the clinical trials, et cetera, out there. Can you kind of get into that layman's terms wise so that uh, we understand it? This peptide has the potential in a vaccine to stimulate the cytotoxic T cells, killer T cells, to go and kill tumors. The other ones don't. Wow, that sounds like it's pretty um, amazing. Can you share with us how long you were in discussions for this, maybe how excited you are about getting this uh, technology? The discussions for, for this new technology didn't take very long, about six months, from start to us getting a, an agreement in place. And when you saw it, what was your reaction? When we saw the science, the science is, is, is excellent. And we thought, well, that's, that's the missing piece. That's the missing piece for a HER2 new vaccine. And so you feel strongly that this might be a game changer? Absolutely. I mean, the, the HER2 new vaccines are not new. There have been a lot of them tested in the clinic. And they suffer from two major issues. First of all, getting a, a, a T cell response that can then go, the T cells can be stimulated to go and kill tumors. That's been one, one issue. And the other is getting a long acting response. We believe that with the components we now have, including our own technology TAP, we address all those problems. That's why we think it's a game changer.